Welcome to Trigger Key RC Monster Truck Racing Action. It is retro competition, our oldest school class of competition built to replicate stage two early monster trucks when they were just starting to race. So these trucks are heavy, they bounce as we take a look at some of the qualifying results. Bigfoot 4, Barefoot Racer, and leading the charge, Bigfoot 7 with Bob C. Chandler. All the trucks in the top three within about a half second, really the top five within a half second of each other. So could be some very interesting racing. We've got a tough, tricky track. If you look out there, you can see lots of little marbles sitting on the track. So making this surface very loose and very slippery for these monster trucks. Right now it's Taurus and Originator on the track back and forth, giving the lead back and forth into the final corner. Wow, it's tight. Taurus all out of shape. And Originator straight down the line to the finish line will take the first win of the day. Chris Hackinson, Bigfoot one, a low level qualifier this time out, usually very fast, but only the number 18 out of 19 trucks. And he's facing off with a tough newcomer Overkill, Michael Spurlock, still only a 15 qualifier, neither quite respective of what they usually do. And Bigfoot in trouble, missing the obstacle, canoeing down the track. Overkill straightens it up and rolls to the finish line. Chris Hackinson right back on the line with the Dodge Barefoot facing off with Fred Kurz Gunslinger, another newcomer. Kurz expanding his lineup. He's got the Gunslinger Retro now, but right now he's in big trouble as Barefoot out to the lead. Hackinson just on the track with Bigfoot One, so a little bit of experience on this tough surface and it may have paid off as he takes a win and moves to round number two with Barefoot. Moving straight to round number two, it's our number one qualifier, Bob C. Chandler and Bigfoot Seven facing off with Originator, Chris Blank. Originator looked pretty solid in round number one. Can he keep up with the top qualifier? Chandler out to a three truck length lead. Originator tightens it up with a nice corner. Oh, and Chandler hooks a hay bale up and over in Bigfoot 7. <laughs> Originator will move to round number 3. King Ghidorah, Iron Aaron Janes, the awesome Camaro retro truck, but outshadowed in this case by a 6x6 monster Chris Blank with King of the Grove. This thing is insane, and he is making this six by six monster truck look awesome out there. On the line now, number four, Master of Disaster, Chris Parrish, and the Mile High Crush of the number 13 qualifier, Troy Hawes. Is that number 13 going to be unlucky, or can Hawes make it happen and take down Master of Disaster? Master of Disaster in trouble, off the ramp sideways, up and over. No bad luck for that number 13 as Mile High Crusher a little bit of trouble in that final corner, but he is going to win it. Orange Outlaw, Doug Wilker, and Thunder Chicken, Chris Lane. Thunder Chicken, a new truck on the tour. Staging up, he was working on the truck prior to competition, still getting it dialed in. Wilker with the Orange Outlaw has been super tough. Looking good here, but Chris Lane is right there. It's neck and neck. Nice tight battle by about a truck length. Orange Outlaw will win it and move to the third round. Number two qualifier, Barefoot Racer. 
and overkill the number 15 qualifier Michael Spurlock a huge jump for barefoot off of the line That starting line hole shot was all that was needed as Barefoot stretches out the gap and takes the win in round number two. Working our way through round number two, Rotten Ole Apple, Doug Welker back on the line. We saw him with Orange Outlaw earlier and Jeremy Mark, Buffalo Trimmer. We saw him with Taurus earlier. Both drivers previously on the track, a little bit of experience on the surface. Welker off to the lead. Oh, a great turn, cutting it off, diamonding the turn a little bit for Tremor, but it couldn't stick. He hit, ends up in the other lane, and Rotten Old Apple wins that one. Number three qualifier, Bigfoot Four, Josh Rhodes. We haven't seen him on the tour in a while, and Barefoot, Chris Hackinson back on the line. Rhodes in the Bigfoot Four, a prior Retro Class champion as Barefoot straight into the turn marker. That ends his hope of taking down the number three qualifier. Rhodes right back on the line with his Grave Digger Two. And Monster Orange 4, Bob C. Chandler. These two have battled it out for championships before. How's it going to work out today? Brave Digger upside down and inside out as Orange Monster Orange 4 gets an easy roll around the track. Just finish the course, don't roll it over, and he'll move to the next round. Round number three, moving through the bracket. Orange Outlaw and Mile High Crusher. Troy, all the way from Colorado in the Mile High Crusher, thus the name. Unique looking truck and Orange Outlaw. Welker acting as the fly-in driver for the Chris Blank Orange Grove team. And looking like he's earning the paycheck as Welker wins in round three, he'll move to the semifinals. Welker right back on the line, the number seven, Rotten Ole Apple, and number two, Chris Parrish and Barefoot Racer. These two normally have some great battles. Let's see how it works out this time. Barefoot off to a big leap. Looking good, taking it to the finish line, but a ramp penalty in the middle of the track hands the win to Doug Welker and Rotten Ole Apple. Welker with two trucks in the semifinals. On the line now, Bigfoot for Josh Rhodes and Monster Orange for Bob C. Chandler. Two very different ideas behind the retro class. Monster Orange 4, a very long wheelbase, and Bigfoot 4, a stock clodbuster wheelbase with a regulator chassis, and narrowly, Bigfoot 4 moves to the semifinals. And finally, Chris Blank had both of his orange trucks meet up, and it was King of the Grove, the six-wheeler, taking the win over Originator setting up this matchup employee versus driver six by six semi versus Orange Outlaw J Concepts regulator stock wheel. King of the Grove looking ridiculous out here on this loose 
surface with the sweeping corners. This truck just drifts through the corners. It's doing amazingly well. He'll be in the finals. In our other pair, Welker back on the line with a second chance with Rotten Old Apple to get to the finals. But he's facing off with a Bigfoot Four in Rhodes. Welker wide around the corner giving a big margin to Bigfoot 4 and complicates the situation by running into the tire barrier. Rhodes rolls to victory in Bigfoot 4 and that sets it up. What a wild finals. Two absolutely different approaches but when you're facing off with a 6x6 semi everything's going to be a different approach. So here it is. Bigfoot 4, Josh Rhodes, back on the tour and Chris Blank king of the Grove the 6x6 semi brand new on the circuit Rhodes right there Blank right there both trucks charging to the final corner by a, about a truck length incredible Rhodes takes the victory but king of the Grove Super respectable. Incredible that that truck does as well as it does. But Josh Rhodes, the former retro class champion with Bigfoot 4, sets the tone for the day with his Bigfoot 4 here by taking Retro Bracket 1. I want to thank all of our sponsors and all of the viewers out there for joining us and everything that you do. Keep supporting Trigger King. We appreciate you all, and we'll catch you next time.